Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we'll be solving the Wednesday, December 7th, 2022 crosswords, and going for that 1,013 day streak. Anyway, here's your spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, bites? Uh, atoms? Uh, relit? Uh, T-Rex and Carp. Carp. Should have gone with my instinct there. Metro here. The Bay Area Rapid Transit. A Tale of Two Cities. I didn't like this. A Tale, but I actually still don't like it. <laughs> See that X here? Remix crossing T-Rex to Carp about something. Eric Adams was in the puzzle just recently. A few days ago. Although the daily puzzle. Anyway. Now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Karen Steinberg today. Here is your spoiler alert if you would like to play along. Pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's see what uh, Karen Steinberg has in store for us. Let's get into it. Iconic Sportswear logo, that's a swoosh. It says, ha, place for some bills, flying a commercial airline often, hauling oats, this is Psy, probably, and John Hamm. Okay, stories that can get pretty hot. Big name in hardware stores. Is it Ace? And this is Chinua Achebe, in a spooky way, eerily, because that's what I want. Something going in a lab, a culture, kick off, and exhausts. So it's tires. Mookie bets here. The bar, past the bar. Addicts says me. Are you serious? Uh, this is eight. Initiate here. High school in Danish. This is gymnasium. Okay. Famine feast versus famine. An identical twin. Competition in French. Okay. Teeny we here. This is sedge, right? Caracas. Ordeal. Interesting. STL. Wallet. Flea and scoffs. Vintage car, old timer. This is MREs, meals ready to eat. Glasses annoyance is a smear. Yeah, that's an ear there. Uh, Ray, uh, that is to say, namely, set up a temporary base. When doubled, win win. Amaze is wow. Tooth holder is your jaw. I might say scam likely. Caller ID, fun. They're called wisdom keepers. Ed Sheeran and Ed Sullivan. Okay, let's go back up here. Relatives to the fam and fry a circuit. Unspecified amount. Uh, conference. This is eight. This is act. This is a lot. And this is nose. I think that's I there. Scrooge McDuck. Oh, concurrence. I see. In camp. This is uncle. Verizon sold AOL. This is Ampere. Elders here. Ingredient in some holiday cookies. This is GMC, so ginger. Boosted. Okay. Plywood and Dutch for theater. This is multiplex. Get all A's, say. Excel. Was defeated by and Los Gatos, so lost to. Vegas casino with bars. Something Irish. <laughs> Tibetan. Ethnic group, smidgen, a skosh, I don't know how to spell it, this is Preen, Etch, Sh uh, Arthur Ashe Stadium, O'Shea's, is that right? Vacation in Sweden, Sweden, semester, light punch, savory pastry is a samosa, Casey Kasem, Sherpa here, love tap, journal, and tease. All right, so we've got a uh, we've got false cognates as our theme, roughly. So uh, you know, words that mean different things in different languages. So interesting, interesting bunch. So I didn't know about gym. I knew gymnasium meant high school in some parts of Europe. I kind of thought. 
even in Germany. Uh, let's look up all these. So, let me look up Gymnasium Germany, first of all. Yeah, a gymnasium is a, is a school in various European languages, including Albanian, Bulgarian, Estonian, Greek, German, Hungarian, Scandinavian languages, Dutch, Polish, Czech, Serbo-Croatian, Macedonian, Slovak, Slovenian, and Russian. Funnily enough, it doesn't... <laughs> uh, it doesn't mention Danish here. <laughs> okay, but the word comes from Greek, meaning naked or nude, in the sense of a place for both physical and intellectual education of young men. Okay, so I knew about that one. I didn't know about old-timer meaning vintage car in German. It makes sense to not choose German for this, for gymnasium, by the way. I guess you have a lot of choices of language, but it's nice that none of these languages are uh, repeated. Uh, I don't know, I'm, this is translating the wrong way, right? I guess I should put German here and put old timer and see what it says. Antique car. Timer doesn't mean car though. Interesting. Okay, concurrence means competition in French. I actually didn't know that. Competition. So what if I switch this? Also la compétition or le concours. I feel like that's a, the, the phrase that I would know. In French, uh, multiplex. We all multiplex Dutch. Keep on going, yeah. Okay, so it's plywood. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess me Googling or translating these things is not anything interesting. Yeah, so it's, it's sort of like a, huh, interesting kind of theme. I gotta say the topology of this grid is interesting too. To, be, to me, it looks a bit like a themeless with a bunch of extra black squares. Uh, oh, I'm hearing weird things in my headphones. I wonder if at some point the mic was cutting out. If not, I mean, if it did, I guess I'll have to re-record re some audio over it. But yeah, the this sort of spiral pattern looks very themelessy, but there's a lot of black squares in the middle. Probably if this was, th was a themeless, you'd remove some of these black squares, have some longer stuff in the middle. But it's sort of hard to see where the themers are a bit, but they are the longest acrosses, which is the traditional thing. Yeah. Uh, felt about right for a Wednesday. There was some stuff I didn't know, but especially down in here in the bottom, maybe it's, uh, there's a couple of, Maybe this bottom corner is a little tough, actually. But let's let's look through this thing. Yeah, the Nike swoosh. I did know that. Nice little misdirect on attics with the word stories there. Shinua Achebe, that is proper noun, but it's crossed farly, fairly. So I don't love the bar. I don't love the thes in the fill when it's uh, not really necessary. You know, I do know the bar is different than bar, but yeah, meals ready to eat. Mookie bets. I mean, I knew it, but I guess that's also another another proper noun up there. We've got yeah, year and R and f eight. Not very interesting three-letter words, but there aren't actually that many interesting three-letter words. I do like this J here. Yeah, as well as this X in multiplex. Skosh. I wasn't sure if there should be a C here, but this whole corner uh, with Ash clued as a stadium eponym. Arthur Ash Stadium is where they play the U.S. Open. And O'Shea's that's a Vegas casino, which I've never heard of. Right, the clue is trying to tell you, oh, it should be something kind of Irish, but... And then even Sherpa, it's like, you know, you think of a Sherpa as like a guide, but it's also the ethnic group. <laughs> the 
member of a Tibetan people living on the high southern slopes, who, like, might, a member of the Sherpa people might be your guide, <laughs> if you're gonna climb Everest, say. Sherpa population are known for their skills in mountaineering as livelihood. But then even Samosa, little Ava, Casey Kasem. I feel like there's sort of a, a dense amount of kind of tough stuff and proper nouns here. That if you don't know enough of them, this corner might be a little dicey, I think. Let me know if you think so. Uh... A commercial airline is often an ordeal. That's a bit dramatic, but it can be. Uh, culture being included as like a bacterial culture. Surge. This is kind of a funny clue, right? Reina means queen, Ray means king. And it's kind of a hearkening to a chess set, but also using mate as in like partner rather than checkmate. So it's uh, a lot of stuff happening in that clue. Caller ID. I'm sure that was really fresh fill like 20 years ago. <laughs> but I guess this scam likely thing is sort of a new, a new thing since the advent of the smartphone. Maybe even more recent, definitely more recent than that actually, I think. It also seems like I'm getting way more scam calls these days. Educational testing service rather than a plural of ET. Yeah, kind of a lot of three letter words in this one actually, uh, looking at it now. Because this center section is so broken up, that creates 12 three letter words right here. No, actually more, 14 three letter words. I should never try to count anything on video I learned yesterday. Also, we've got four more placed symmetrically here. No, six more. So it's 23 letter words, which feels like a lot, but maybe it's not. I actually forget. <laughs> I don't remember the kinds of stats on those things, but maybe it's like 22 is like the, the most you could, you should, you should do in a, in a themed puzzle, something like that. Back when I was doing construction, I knew these things, but I now, <laughs> at this point, I only construct for wedding crosswords these days. Uh, shout out to, uh, Tim and Ruth, and Stickers and Ogre, both of whom I constructed wedding crosswords for. Anyway, quick Wednesday. Interesting, um, interesting phenomenon that this puzzle is pointing to. These false cognates. Interesting grid topology. It's kind of kind of a nice puzzle, and it will be pretty quick as well. Just a skosh slower than yesterday, which was extra wide for a Tuesday. Pretty quick Wednesday this week. Leaderboard for tomorrow, we've got Oriwana just edging out stickers there by uh, by one second. And Jay, my good grad school buddy Jay, always doing the crossword right around 10 o'clock, actually 7 o'clock. Uh, and on the secret leaderboard, we've got Kimball and the Duke Priest after a long hiatus. Shout out to the Duke Priest. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.